Uh oh. Once again, I went on a um, hiatus from YouTube, but not from content creation. And today what I'm going to do is something that I've had a lot of comments about on pretty much every platform at this point, asking for a base tour. Before I begin going through my base, I'm going to show you a montage of basically what I've been up to because it's it's been a lot. It's been fun, it's been busy, but it has been a lot. So enjoy. So let's get started. First over here is the kelp farm, we'll get there in a bit, but this is my base. Not too large on top, pretty small. Um, there's a second beacon way over there, and that's also my base. Yeah, I built a large base and it is completely underground, so let's head inside. Pretty simple interior, I kind of put on everything that wasn't just like super important. Left my dogs out, my emerald block, and I think that's a... Oh gosh, I know it's a mangrove plant thing, but I forget the actual term for it. Anyway, down to the storage room, this is one of my first builds on the server, and I took down all of the armor stands because my frames would kind of dip a lot, and I didn't like that. I was done the item frames too, so no armor stands, no item frames. I left the lights there just because it, it feels nice having other light in here. And I still use this place a lot. Like, this is still my main storage for most items. I have like bulk storage underground for some things, but this is where I come for like any new build I'm doing. Over here, I have some basic potion stuff. I use these for um, when I was making my villager training thing, or just villagers in general. And then my bed, so I can actually have a spawn point on the server in case I die again. And then I've probably used these furnaces for an eye, whatever it's called, more often than I've used my actual smear spotter that I built recently. And it's probably going to stay that way because convenience rather than going down. Alright. Down here, this was my second build, I think, technically, that I did this one changed three times though i know at first it was flat and then the animals were in the back and i changed it to being a glass floor with axolotls and, and ground and then just like animals here i don't really use these guys for anything other than quests quests are just ways to get coins in this game i just have them just because it looks nice having animals but they do contribute to the lag and fps drop to my base further down we have my sheep farm which has one of every color in the game, I believe. I don't think I'm missing anything. It's just all the same thing with a, um, is that Observer, I think? Where is the Observer? I think the Observer's looking at the grass blocks, which is under um, the dropper back there. Yeah, which one can you see easily? 
are kind of blocking it. Okay, so there's a dropper back there, and then beneath it, there's an observer looking at this uh, grass thing. Whenever it grows into grass and then the sheep eats it, the shears dispense, picking up the wool, and it goes down into the collection system. Pretty simple, just collects all the wools. I'm actually be getting a lot because I don't use this often, but because of how often it's like online in the storage room, this is usually like one of the main things loaded. And it's a small build, but it works and I'm I'm happy with it. I don't think I have any regrets in this one specifically. Next up we have the let's do the B room first. This place. It's definitely a lag machine. But I like it. I am really happy with how this turned out. I'm actually working on a tutorial video for this place right now. I'm not going to guarantee when it's coming out because I don't know when I'm going to have time to work on it or when I'm going to be motivated to do it. The high that's, that's like one of the big things with just this server and just the way I'm playing right now is I, I could just put out like a video like every two days of just like super low quality. But what I've been trying to do is just do something that I'm passionate about, something that I actually enjoy doing. And that results in builds that I am for the most part happy in. Some of my earlier builds I'm not as happy with, but as I progressed, I got better and got more happy with the builds. And same thing with the tutorial. I, I want to do this room. I'm working on it. It's just taking a while because I don't want to get burnt out doing the tutorial because hopefully I'll be able to do more for other rooms because there's some rooms that people really wanted to see a tutorial for, but it just takes me a while to get through them. I also changed this from the initial design of pressure plates because the bees could use the pressure plates and just open the door and that's not really good all right this next room is the first place that actually uses kind of the plugins from the server specifically so this is my oakland shop and it's actually a working shop it's just that no one uses it because i don't know it's a boring shop and i don't have a lot but I like the design. I, I was actually really happy that this turned out well. I used, um, these are mushroom stems and then mangrove wood. I really wanted to do a mangrove build and I connected it with blackstone and it worked really well. I have light underneath the carpets just to keep it lit. And then for these, this is, the only thing I changed was I think the dye. I think I dyed them all red. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But I know like the shop thing on top, the stocked, and then basically everything is just the plugins from this game. The only thing I did was put stuff in there and then just like click on it. This sign is completely vanilla. It is just um, glow ink and then white dye. Make it do that. Then I have some shops in here, some wood shops. Uh, yeah, nothing special, just, just some stuff. All right, on to next room. So we gotta go down the bubble column again. And this hallway, was another build I worked on. Nothing too complex, but it's a block pop I, I, I kind of stumbled upon. I wasn't expecting it to work so well. I was really liking mud and getting into that, but I wanted to mix it more with lighter colors. And so I used anzite and stone, and then just some spruce logs, just because I wanted to change the color palette from upstairs, which is all jungle, and just to a different thing. But yeah, I also have my render distance, render distance turned down because I have a lot in this, like, these very, like, few chunks so I don't want to like slow my FPS down while I'm going through the base tour. Okay, so this room still going off of the tunnel, so pretty much similar block power, just deep slate on the ground and then oak behind these um spruce fence posts. Spruce fence posts, jeez. Now this is the kelp arm I was talking about earlier. Um if I break the kelp out there, let's see I can go up here to get to I believe. So when you break the kelp in here, it all floats up and then comes down this water thing and goes into these hoppers. They all feed into the chest so there's enough like storage so they don't like despawn. And then they go into all the smokers which are the faster way of smelting kelp because they're like a plant thing. And then it goes into the chest which I can then craft into dried kelp blocks which I put in here as well as my upstairs smelter and my downstairs smelter. And this was one of my first large builds. I get a good view of it. Not really, because it's covered up. But it is wheat, potato, and carrot. Uh, 
this was before I knew how to actually like make YouTube shorts or like correctly edit a video with the vertical um, size so it worked well. But I'm still really happy with this farm. I do plan on automating like all three of these in the coming future, pretty soon actually. But for the time being, it works really well. It just looks nice. Other than like a few glows I had to add later, it's fully lit up and the water water is hidden. So it works perfectly. And then over here, I just have my sugarcane farm, which is being close to being full. My cacti farm, that I've actually never collected from for anything, I don't think. Other than maybe like the original like wool farm die, but other than that, I don't use this farm. This one gets a bit of use though. And then over here was the only thing in my base I haven't actually made a video of because it's just a room of pumpkins and melons and other wart. It was just me needing a larger farm for these to hope to get to the farms I needed actually. And nothing too serious, just a small room that I needed for um, just some storage and some pumpkins. All right, now we get down into, in my opinion, the better builds of the base. This is literally just an open column. I haven't closed this off yet, but I haven't had any issues with there. All right, there's the beacon. So now we get into what I call the mine shaft area of my base. That's what the initial theme was, and then I completely broke off of it. So I'm going to go in just closeness order rather than chronological order of what I built because it makes it makes more sense to do it that way. So out here is just like the initial crossroads that I built, highlighting each of a few different ores and then crystal because it looked cool. But yeah, villagers in the water just because they fell in. Um, this was the first time I ex actually used like blocks that weren't made, I guess, for blocks and made for use instead. These are all blast furnace, blast furnaces, whatever the term for that is. And I really like it because I think if I had continued to use the andesite, it would have looked like too much and just repetitive. And so having block variation, but like it had detail, I think it worked really well. And that's why I like a lot about using kind of not typical building blocks in a build because it adds a lot to it just within the block itself. And then the other, only other like theme in this room is just the walls. These stay the same throughout the rest of the transition areas. It's just like the, what is this? Ah, oh, shoot. It's, it's the tough and mossy cobblestone. Same over here, tough and mossy cobblestone. And then this is where we get to the first functional room. This is my villager breeder. It goes back there. There's two vill farmer villagers up there that just like plant carrots, pick up carrots, and then try to breed babies, but the babies can't get to the bed, so they fly on here instead. And then over here I have my blocks replacing it, at the rails, redstone, and mine carts. I also added this crafting table in after the fact because I actually needed to do some crafting over here, and I didn't include it in the original build. So moving on past that, we get into my other useful room that I've used a lot because from this point on, every room you see has lava. I don't I don't know what about lava is so good. I just like using it a lot. And every build I've made so far incorporates lava somehow, usually in the floor. So this is just typical vanilla stuff. Lava on top of a block and then dripstone. Drips into a cauldron. And then from the cauldron, you can just pick it up and it will slowly regenerate over, I don't know how long it takes, but with enough of them, it works, it works well for me. I don't have to worry about getting lava from the other source. This is another room that I changed recently. Um, the ceiling was initially leaves, which did not work. It was really bad, but I didn't know what to do at the time. I changed it to copper later, which also didn't work as well. And now I just use basalt. Uh, it's, I don't think it's a chiseled basalt, but it's, it's not like the, the default basalt. It's a different version of it, but it works really well, I think, for keeping the theme and not being too different because it's just a ceiling. It doesn't need it that special, really. Another one, of the another one of the transition sections right here going into probably one of my favorite hallways because the block pallet works really well. It's not too exciting to where it detracts from the rest of the rooms, but it's enough where I'm 
there is nothing I would change about this room. And I've gotten a lot of complaints about this lava not being like full, but that's not changing. I like the fact that it's like moving. I don't know. It, it, it just, it feels different than other rooms. Cause it's like, it's moving. It, it adds movement. That's like one thing I wanted in this room. I didn't know how to do it. All right. So this is one of my first storage rooms downstairs that I actually use for things. When I do dig outs for other builds, I put like deep slate, cobble deep slate here, tough as well as I think gravel's over here. And I have filled up so many of these chests at this point. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. My initial purpose of this room was to do like wood. And I did on this side, I think I have like some dark oak and then maybe something else over here. I don't, I don't know where it would be though. But it's, it's mainly just turned into stuff I get from mine out sessions. And it's worked pretty well. This was another room that I used like different blocks. This, I, I don't know. I'm not as excited about this floor design. It works for the room, but it doesn't really pop for me. It kind of just exists. It just is a thing. Okay, moving on to what I think is the most viewed build that I've uploaded. I think this has like 200 something thousand views on TikTok, which is just insane. Um, it's just another blue nether themed room. That's what I'm gonna go with. Cause it's got the warped wood from nether, the black stone, and then everything else is just skulk, copper, um, and dried kelp blocks. This is also like for the, the, the warped trees, it's like the leaf thing. And this room, a lot of people liked and wanted to see a tutorial from. I just haven't gotten to it yet because I've been slowly chipping away at the bee, bee farm tutorial because that's the one I started with first. And I think this is like one of the only rooms to incorporate lava into the ceiling. It just, it just kind of worked for me when I was building it. And I really like this room, but I don't think I've used a single chest in here. It's just been like a place where I can walk in occasionally. And I'm happy with this. This place looks really good. A lot of people liked it, so no complaints from me. Moving on, we have another transition and into uh, one of probably the weirdest build I've ever done. It's just, it's so, it's a lot of different colors, but it works. And yeah, I, 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 I don't know. You got like the light blue into like the other light blue these kind of match and then just complete contrast into mud and the geisha and then just like stone slabs here just to do something so i didn't want pillars blocking it off but i didn't want it to be like ending there it needed something and then we got like the skulk sensor below the oh shoot this is the block that detects when the mob dies and spreads skulk and the bottom of it looked really interesting, so I used it in all four of the spots. And I'm happy with this room. I'm definitely going to continue to build off of it. I built off from the front and into the side. I'm not sure I'm going to do this side yet. Um, this is my most recent builds. This is my Melon Pumpkin Farm. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with this room. The floor is... I don't, I don't feel like this floor completely matches with like the theme that I was going for. But it works, and I don't think I'd want to change it. So what we have here is farms that all filter into an underground water stream. Yeah, I can actually show you the water stream. Yeah, it just it collects from all these sides. Can I get into it without like falling into the water? Yes, I can. Cool. So I have this redstone here that I asked a friend for help on. So I don't know why it's that well. Basically, whenever a item enters into the minecart and goes into this dropper, it will send out a signal into this repeater. I think I'll see us soon. Maybe? I think I just saw it go down. Dang. Um, so it'll notice some items in here. It'll, oh, there, just said, yeah. So it senses the item, it powers itself, and then it powers a dropper, which then goes into the water stream. And this water stream goes, let's hopefully don't fall in, cool. Under all of this, around the side, and up into these chests and it's worked really well for me so far i've unlocked golden carrots in all of these villagers and i've had no complaints with this room it was this was my most recent build 
and initially it was going to be flat along the ground i have changed it just because it there's a build right here below it that i couldn't run into i just i couldn't compromise or destroy either one of them so i just had both of them be a thing all right moving on to this is a bit recent but also like a few weeks ago at this point in time this room i am really happy with i just use a whole lot of iron on the floor but i think this turned out really well ceiling of deep slate copper and then into nether ne the warped netherwood stairs and i really like this just kind of style like this section here is what i was thinking of at first when i started to build and i just kind of built out from there into this whole thing and, and it works really well i think so this is the room i was talking about that interferes with the villagers up there the reason i couldn't just go straight was because this was here and it's not 100 percent functional anymore because i did have to pull out some redstone just because there's a redstone limit per chunk in this server so i had to deal with that and i'm, I'm fine with that because i actually only use this side i genuinely only smell ores you don't really need to smell normal blocks in bulk um the only thing i would need to think about this room is it is too dark mobs can spawn in this corner but i had to add torches just because i don't want mobs spawning in here because i don't have this all fully claimed over here actually yeah i'll show you the thing i was talking about so if you go along here you see the water stream i believe because it, it goes under here around and up over there but yeah the build had to go directly above that's the lava from the build above and it would have just interfered and not been able to work if i tried to go straight this this these rooms along the side are just so i can access the minecart and the inputs to each of the um small tour arrays and it's worked well i think in terms of block palette this is the biggest surprise to myself because i didn't think i could build like this with just i don't know it's it's just every color in here just seems so i mean there's black but like every color in here seems so vibrant and it just pops so much more than any other room it's also that it's just like small and not much room to like look anywhere else it's all symmetrical but it, it works really well i had a question about how this is a like 30 enchant kind of yeah this, this goes up to level 30 for enchant and that's because the corners are also the um what are these called the bookshelves and then initially i didn't think that would work but it did and so i'm cool with it and i have no complaints this room i haven't actually used much none of the villagers have their trades locked in they're all just kind of like why are you 72 who is no, okay yeah none of i'm not i haven't traded with any of these villagers yet because i haven't had a need to my armor is good my tools are maxed i don't have i don't have anything else i need to get at this point in time and i believe that is everything we've gone through all of the base that i have built so far i do plan on working on i don't i'm not sure which one yet but i know i want to do the carrot potato wheat and an iron farm all involving villagers and i'm planning to extend it off of this path i want to go further down this way with it yeah so sorry for the hiatus for those that only watched me on youtube but i have been active on other platforms like tiktok and instagram and my username is the same there as it is in minecraft it's just kahappy83 it's right there in the middle of the screen and yeah this will be a bit longer of a video but to those that are still watching thank you hope you enjoy and see ya